what will you leave behind? Are we all still dying? Previously on Somnia. Lily? Lane? <laughs> Honey, that's a dream. It wasn't. It was so real. You're a Somnia. The license here is only for a year. It runs out tonight. Roland, have to get Lily and Riley in your house. They, they don't have anywhere to go. They took away his hearing, and he'll be in this prison cell for all of eternity. Frank, we have to get him help. He's been out of therapy for a year now. You're sending me to that group. Oh, you're new. Yes. I was just wondering if you'd ever heard of the other world. Why? Has killed himself. The same moment we crashed. Morgan got on the first plane out. If something happens, I wouldn't be able to live with myself. I don't want you here. You know, she's been angrily sitting on the couch since we picked her up at the airport this morning. Has she seen Ariel yet? No, I won't let them near each other. Oh, have you ever been to the other? I mean, I know you know about it, but... I went. I went just after you called me. What was it like? I'm still aching. And I was there longer than you were, I think. I mean, you just went up there, like, saw Lily freak to come back down. I, like traveled while I was up there. I I saw Sebastian. I... You know sign language, right? I mean, I'm in a class at school. I, Baz knew it. I'm learning it. Lane, they took away Baz's hearing. All of it. I can't talk to him, but he can talk to me. And We need some sort of translator, and if we can figure out how to get in there at the same time and place. Oh, see, I really don't think I can. You have to. I don't know anyone up there. Do a Google search for dead ASL translators. I don't know. Besides, my dad thinks I'm crazy. My uncle doesn't, but I don't see him again for a week, and he said he'll teach me how to get there and stay there and everything. God, this is so weird. It's gotta just be some sort of dream. It's death. I think it is. I mean, I, d I don't know for sure. Uh, I trust my dad. Besides, you don't know for sure until you die. Here I am talking to someone who's dead and someone who's actually a real person somewhere else, and you're there too. I, I trust your dad too. Listen, my dad, he doesn't really want me talking to you anymore. What? Why? Because of the Salmia. I don't think you're crazy. Because it felt so real, and I got this horrible migraine once I came back here. I'll text you, okay? Okay. Bye. Without your voice to tell me, I love you, take a ride. It's in and it too is the lonely. Dad, look, I'm sorry. I just had to talk to She's her. She's your friend. I understand. But I, I don't want you thinking this stuff is real, alright? Dad, now get some sleep. It's late. You need some. Joseph Isaac Roland St. Jean. That's a mouthful. You Catholics. Isaac, is it? Roland is my given name. Isaac was my grandpere. Of course. Roland. Do you do that a lot? What? Yeah. Are you always sucked in like that? Yeah. Is it just a nervous habit or... Do you need that to focus? I... I don't know. This is what I tell most people here. The first step is admitting your problem. The next step is taking the action to stop it. Do you have anything else you may use to zero in? I... I have one of those spinners, and... 
and the block with all the little buttons on it. Um, I count things, my steps, ceiling tiles. And I, I split sentences up in my head. Everything has to be odd numbered. God. I've gotten conflicting numbers, to say the least, Roland. How old are you? I turn 18 August 2nd. It's all right. I just wanted to know it directly from you. Your mother was... Roland, in the past few days, have you seen anyone? What's that supposed to mean? I mean, Roland, in the past few days, have you seen something that shouldn't be there? I don't even know your name. Julie. Julie. Okay. Charlie, my little sister. She died a year ago, I think. She was 15. She was perfectly healthy when we adopted her. I mean, I mean, she's displaced by an earthquake, but <laughs> relatively perfectly healthy. All of a sudden, she got this really bad strand of leukemia. She was fighting it off and on her entire life with us. When she went and died on me, she didn't even die. It was, it wasn't sudden. They just scheduled a date and they took her off all those damn machines. You're her big brother. Of course, it would be hard. Yeah, on you. I. I miss her. I really miss her. Yeah, of course you do. As you should. And... And I saw her. She came to me yesterday. She talked to me. Charlie, she was right in front of me. I mean... It wasn't new. She's done that a lot. It's, it's mostly been her, but... Lots of people have. It hasn't even been people I know sometimes. They like to come, and sometimes I like it, but sometimes it's terrifying, and sometimes it's just in my head, like there's voices, and and sometimes they want to kill me, and they try sometimes. I... I see. At least there's been food. Oh yes, that's all we need in our immortal states. Lillian, you know we need food. I just, I can't believe my he's gone just like that. He's, he's not just dead. I'll never see him again. There's no hope like there was on Earth, you know? I've uh, been trying not to think about it. Oh, I, I just, I'm sorry. I, I guess I just have to think about it. You're just like your sister. We did share a room. Yeah, and she's starting to visit. Maybe she can control it enough so that we can talk to her again. I just worry. Your father, he... I never told him I was Somniac. I told your Uncle Fred, but... I knew he was a Somniac because he'd introduced the two of us. Because I'd never been very active, I didn't worry about it in my kids. I figured since I never really visited, and since your father was Insomniac, I figured... You you want to get the trait? I'm sure she'll figure it out. She's really smart. She knows like three languages and she reads all the time and she does everything right. I just wish I was still down there. Or at the very least that I, I could have apologized to dad or said goodbye to them all. I do too. I wish I'd never thought of that ridiculous split weekend. But there's always a plan. Say lovey. Okay. This is kind of a personal question, but, you know, as, as my mom, I feel like maybe you have some input. <sighs> yeah, sure, whatever. Mom, can you have, like, a relationship here? Yes. A somniac shouldn't be involved with anyone dead, and vice versa, of course. But if you're both dead, go right ahead. I'm not gonna stop you. You never got that on Earth. <sighs> right. Lil? It, it's ridiculous. What? It's this ridiculous teenage friendship rule. You can't date your best friend's brother. I wonder what the rule is if the best friend's alive but you're both dead. Lily.
image of Sebastian. I oh, right. Okay. Oh, Charlie, uh, come as ever. Did you put I have to get out of here. Here, uh, Sebastian. A say very difficult mission. The council. They did not let me speak at all during my hearing. And considering I've had nothing but thinking time, I... I think I'm ready to tell them why I deserve the chance at this, you know, afterlife, and not hell and everything. I can't do this eternally. It's only been two days, and I'm losing my mind. I mean, I know that's exactly what they want, but... I can't even hear myself anymore. When we... Uh... I have... Oh, I have... See, you're the first person who thought of that. Okay. I am lucky, you know, that his bag decided to come with me for whatever reason when I come. I am also glad that I am writing nerd who likes to keep pen in bag. Ah, right. You still do not hear. Let me start. The goosebumps start to minute my left and miss your way. What do you mean? When did you start? Look, I don't know if they'll take the case. I wanted to die, Charlie. They know that. Can you... Can you start it? Thank you. Merci. I... Thank you. I will leave my things here because I know I will be back. Um... You still can't hear me. I'm going to go. Transport as a World Council Center. We. Oui. Yes. from her forever. I know. I, I... I just don't want her to be scared. She's already wondering what's going on. Oh, she'd want it. If she knew she could take it. I thought to be careful, be cautious, but you just wished harder. You waited smiling. Yes? Do you want to see Ariel? Yes? Okay. But they love you over and over. They love you thousands and thousands of eyes, just like mine, aching to find who they are. Oh, they love you. Oh, you can. Is she supposed to be in here? No, but there's no harm in helping her. I don't know. She seems like one of those schoolgirls. Oh, I am sorry. I must be in wrong place. I am here for- You're not one of those schoolgirls, are you? What? What? There's an ongoing investigation of a group of schoolgirls who died. They were on a bus and it crashed. Most of them were young, like you. Why would they do that? They're gays. Sinners. Sorry for the confusion, young lady. My friend was wrongfully tried. I want to try a case against um, the decision. Do you know? You are in the right place, don't worry. First door on your left. Good luck. You'll need it. Merci. Thank you. But they love you over and over. They love you. Thousands and thousands of eyes just like mine, aching to find who they are. Ariel, remember how 
how mommy went away. Yeah? That's mommy. I don't know her. I know you don't. It's okay. Hi, Ariel. It's okay, Ariel. I'm... I'm not gonna hurt you, okay? I am not Carty. Cry for help. I am not joking. I might just... You already did. Don't build hope on something broken. I am not cartoon. Cry for help.